Hi everyone. Just doing a quick update on uh, all of the sort of plants I've got growing here. Uh, I wanted to start with uh, talking about the spider mite issue I had that affected these papaya trees over here and in the corner. So one thing I've tried to do recently is, if I just take this out, I've tried to increase the humidity, which is, uh, you know, it, it's literally almost 100% super humid you can see the 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 walls of the, of the space are all wet the ceiling is all soaked with water water and yeah it's just super humid in there uh, and the re the way I kind of accomplished that was uh, by just closing off all the vents in the sides there and there so there's no air escaping so it's just becoming really humid in here I, I, did, I did think it might have some negative effect in the plants but you know, I just I just saw online that they you know spider mites didn't like the wet humid conditions. So um, that being said, there are some. Uh, by the way, this this is what the mango trees uh, now look like. This one in the back has done the most growth. Uh, this one in the front is uh, not bad, but you know even still, if you look closely, you can see. I mean, can't really see it in the camera, but there there is kind of this sticky substance on the leaves especially that one there I don't know if you can see it um, so that's a bit annoying uh, and actually if I look really closely you can see over here it's starting to go black and mouldy over here so uh, uh, at this stage I don't even know if it's still spider mites or aphids or something else so I'm gonna have to apply some neem oil today on, on these plants uh, but you know it's, it's always a challenge with these uh, spider mites and um, yeah the papaya trees I, I don't know if the leaves got burnt because of the neem oil or what the reason is but I'm just kind of leaving them alone for a bit to see if they recover got some papaya trees over here uh, I mean they just need to push through a few more months and then hopefully I can take them out you know in the outside area in terms of the plants I've got I've got potted not much has happened except for over here we've got a small seedling coming out that's a Trachycarpus nova so out of maybe I don't know 50, uh, 25 seeds one, one has uh, sprouted and uh, in this container here I've I found some um, Trachycarpus fortunae seeds in a local palm which I just grabbed and just applied in there let's see what happens Apart from that, all of these palms over here, so these ones here are Washingtonia filifera, the uh, California fan palm, right here and here, gone huge, like, uh, at this stage there's like close to maybe 30 in each container, uh, and they're starting their second leaves, so they, yeah they're doing quite well, and here is another, another container with filifera, so about 100 in, 100 in total. And over here, you've got Washingtonia Robusta, the Mexican fan palm. They're a bit behind. Um, but these two over here and over here are the same. They're, they're pretty much on their first leaf still. Uh, so that's that. I've got some, uh, you know, older plants over here, uh, which is slightly more mature. Apart from that, we've got some Canary Island date palms. Going over here, got about 10 in there, and about 10 Canary Island date palms over here. Um, also, let's see, this over here is a Butia Ye Ye, something like that. Um, it's got a new leaf coming out in the middle there, so I'm hoping this penates in a, in a few weeks, months really. And then we've got a kind of variety of uh, Phoenix Dactyliferia over here uh, it's starting to pinnate especially up here you see this leaf and uh, this leaf more so I think the, I think the leaf after this one will be a feather leaf by the looks of things um, and can't really see it too well applying some Bismarckias over here but as you can see here they have sprouted that's great Hopefully the actual plant comes out soon. So these are the two Bismarckias that sprouted. I've got some more that haven't sprouted yet, but because 
I've had Texas, I'm sure they will come out eventually. And I've also managed, I've actually bought this Bismarck here online because I didn't realize that it would uh, come out, you know, they would sprout. Um, that's that. And yeah, apart from that, I've just tried this special fertilizer, um, NPK mix, on uh, some of the plants, some of the palms. Let's see if that affects the growth in any ways. Uh, we've got a tiny, tiny sable palm out over here. Can't really see it because it's focusing up there. This one here. It's not really doing a whole, a whole lot. I don't know what's happened with this one. But um, yeah, lastly, in this little grow space, loads of palms. But we've got these uh, Washington robustas, which are uh, sort of larger plants, maybe one or two years old. Uh, I bought these online. You know, there's a sale happening. I thought. Uh, we can uh, so we have sort of uh, three areas in the front garden that, that can be planted in and i'm just currently um giving them a head start before spring so far you know i did some aggressive root pruning because they were all clumped together but they survived and we've got new growth that's a new leaf in the back there and uh yeah i'm uh, in I'm kind of uh looking forward to see how much they grow in these small containers Hopefully I can keep them that way. If, the, if it gets too bad, I might have to upgrade them to sort of that size of there. Um, and that's that. And uh, I might just make a second video on the other palms, just to give a quick update. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.